you know, Dana, we forget that we're not having a, a national popular vote contest. We're, we're having an electoral college contest. And it's not about who gets the most votes. You would think Republicans learned this lesson and Democrats as well in the year 2000. It's about who gets to 270 electoral college votes first. So if I could summarize where the race is at here, you know, the day after Labor Day, I think it has tightened because I think Hillary support has been overinflated since the Democratic convention. But I also don't think it's very close. And the reason I don't think it's very close, she has an overwhelming advantage in the electoral college. And and I would just tell your audience if they want to save themselves themselves some time the next 60 days, just keep an eye on Pennsylvania. Until the polls change there, they really don't matter anywhere else because here's what Trump has to do if he doesn't win Pennsylvania. He's got to win Nevada, New Hampshire, Iowa, Ohio, Wisconsin, Florida, and all. It, nobody has done that on the Republican Party, Dana, since Reagan's landslide of 84. So Pennsylvania is the key battleground state in the election.